Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly. This is another reading uh, for Tarot. And please make sure to watch your October monthly horoscope and your... Um, we have monthly horoscope, the eclipse that is about to happen, and also your monthly Tarot. So that's already done. Now we're going to be continuing with the weekly um, Tarot. For people who are new to this channel, um, I'm going to be uh, explaining how to watch the Tarot here. Um, this is a tarot. It's called a tarot, not a chart. So if it's not called a chart, then why do we have to watch it based on an ascendant, moon sign, Jupiter, sun sign? So clearly it's not, right? I don't see it anything here. And you would appreciate my sarcastic voice over here, Virgo, because you got to smarten up over here. The tarot is a divination tool that picks up the energy of whoever is in front of it. And you will only hear that from here. So you don't need to watch a certain placement. But you can, of course. People are stubborn. They'd watch whatever they want. But for me, as this is what I practice, when you're consulting with me, I don't need your chart if I'm doing tarot because I'm not doing astrology with you. Hmm. Exacto mundo. Let's begin over here. So you can watch it anyway. It will pick you up. Mm. I do the reads thousands of times already. Probably more than 60,000 now in this, just this lifetime. Okay. So let's see what's going on for my Virgo. But it's never written in any book in Tarot that it is based on Ascendant, Moon Sign, Sun Sign, Jupiter, Venus. No, it's not. But you can if you want to. Mm. Oh, Virgos. What are we coming into? Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Hmm. What we're having here for this week of October is a very, very, very challenging time that we need to prepare. If you think that relationship is rainbows and butterflies and you are in the wrong channel, this channel gets real. So if you're not ready to face what is real, then you can move to a, a wonderful mystic, you know, I don't know, um, sugar-coated whatever. Okay. I don't deal with that. I bring you the problem, we answer the problem, we get you out of the problem. Three of swords over here. Um, what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo, is like you're coming to a realization of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Name a person who hasn't gone through this? No one. So this is just regular another day. So stop creating a drama over this with this Three of Swords. I need you to toughen up, okay? This is not the time that you, you look at yourself because you're looking at yourself very weak and down. I need you to snap out of it, Virgo. If there's anything that you need to do for yourself is to start taking care of yourself because what this person did to you is that they only took all the energy out of you, suck you like a succubus, and drained you from everything. It can be money, finances, energy. Mm -hmm. And what? You put this person in a pedestal? Think of me like I'm your best friend who will not shut up until you let go of this person. Yes, I will not condone a relationship that has betrayal. No, not to the Virgos. The Three of Swords is a card of like you were aware that there was cheating, lying involved in this relationship. Now, of course, you were in love, so I'll give that to you. But now, you're here with me and we're doing the reading, so I'll take it back from you. I need you to wake up. Mm -hmm. I need you to do something for yourself for this week because the Three of Swords is not easy. Okay, The Three of Swords, you will feel the pain. You will feel like there was a lot of things that were shady with, with your person. But there was red flags. You just ignored it. But now, it's all the flags. It's not even just red. It's all the colors that's being shown to you. Something does not add up. And you know it. Your intuition was telling you this with the Tree of Swords. Now, this could have happened in the past, meaning in the passing you know, couple of months already. And you're still trying to recover. So during this time that you're recovering from this situation, okay, you're doing your best. I approve. So you're claiming here, Virgo. It's like, yep, Sal, I'm done and I'm gone. That's history. I've moved on from the pain. I've healed myself. I took that chariot. I rode that car and I never come back. Mm -hmm. So you could have moved out with a chariot. You find yourself purpose with a chariot. You found yourself like, you know, this is the um, addressing the situation over here. The good and the bad. Okay, taking charge. This is astrology over here on top of the stars. I mean, on top of the chariot. So that's the... Basically, either sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um, with a chart, this is taking command. So you moved out. Can be physically, 
can be from the situation, which is good. So you're not hanging on that you want your ex, especially people who claims that Mercury retrograde will bring their ex back. No, it is never written, okay, in any book, that exes should come back during retrograde. That is a fallacy. No, it's not true. People you need to communicate will come back, not an ex. Mm. It's about Mercury rules communication, not relationships. Snap out of it, people. Having the chart over here, it only means that you don't care, which is good. You're self-made. You got things going on for your life. That's good. You woke up and then you said, like, like mm -hmm, my hair is too long for this. You know, this weave will never touch this person's head again. Okay, that's a chart right there. Good. Now, you are doing here with a hermit, okay, the whole introspection. So you found the wisdom. The star here is very significant. You're looking for your soul purpose and your uh, connect connection with your creator. The golden staff over here is the wisdom. But always remember that underneath the hermit, this is water before. Now it's a snow. Now it's an ice. So whatever before that you have feelings for this person, it became, um, how do you say this? It became more like, because uh, it's frozen, it's like you're cold to them anymore. You don't want to deal with them anymore with a hermit. You were seeking like, leave me alone, you know, with a, with a hermit. For others, you could have ghosted this person also. Hermit, chariot, and the three of swords. Like you just said, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. I'm bouncing out of it. You know, so you could be the one who goes to them. But the reason is like you're justifying. It's like, well, they cheated, they lied, they betrayed me. It's like, well, why am I going to deal with that? I'm not going to deal with that. Exactly. Okay. So you just vanish. So for you, it's just like it's an easy way out. We don't even need to talk. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not easy because you do feel the pain. Okay. Now, your situation here, because you do have the Six of Pentacles, this is just showing that your person was giving you... Yes, it was giving you effort, but barely. It was giving you attention, but nothing. It was giving you chum change breadcrumbs, and you could be gluten-free. So this person could have killed you if you're gluten-free. I'm kidding. No one's dying, okay? You might be allergic <laughs> to gluten. <laughs> Just saying, because this is called the breadcrumbs. So I'm not trying to make a light, because I feel like the Virgos right now, you know, is really feeling it, okay? Having the Six of Pentacles here, this is now showing that your person's intention to you was to control you. Your person's intention was to string you along, you know. They were not there as a partner. They were only there to play games. It's the Six of Pentacles, you know. There's nothing going to come out of this. After Six, what happens? Seven, which means like they're going to make you wait. That's not good. Mm -hmm. And while they're making you wait, they're spending time with other people here with the Three of Cups. They do enjoy their time casually with a lot of people, flirting with the Three of Cups, enjoying going out on dates and getting to know people. One thing that bothers me with the Three of Cups over here, Virgo, is one hand on this person. Okay, I don't think that's very friendly of that person. Just saying. The Three of Cups is celebration. Now, sometimes your person do come back because this is a card of reunion. Okay, that's the Three of Cups. Eight of Wands over here is they are going to communicate to you. Mm -hmm. If I were just to relate this, okay, but I'm not reading your chart. Of course, Mercury goes direct on October 2nd, but five days from that, okay, it's very volatile because it's in stationary. It's going back into its motion. Then that's a time that you may feel, well, not you, your person may feel like they need to connect, that they need to communicate, Okay. That's the Eight of Wands over here. So Eight of Wands is a call to action. So your person, okay, right now is thinking of making effort, okay? Now, this is like, I'm going to do it, okay? This is like, I'm going to text. This is like, oh, I'm going to call Eight of Wands. Oh, I'm going to fly to see you, Eight of Wands. Oh, this is like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there, you know? That's the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands over here, it's showing like it's a drive. It could be driving to see you, all right? Now, this is not a wake-up call. This is how they work, okay? Since you haven't been reacting to their, um, uh, how to say this, to their actions, they're trying to figure you out right now, you know? Because have you really moved on, Virgo? This is what your person is questioning. Have you really moved on? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another Three of Swords. Three of Swords on top of Three of Swords. My, 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 Sharona. 
Ooh, two of cups. Mm. Ten of swords. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Page of Pentacles right there. Ace of Swords right here. Hmm. Okay. So just feeling the vibe of your person right here. Okay. Just looking at this first. Not really. I'm not. Re I'm not interpreting this yet. Something is about to turn around in the situation. I feel like there may be some lingering feelings or emotions that you have with your person, and you may it may caught you off guard with this. You may feel surprised all of a sudden about what's their next move. Something you don't expect in this first week will come to surface. Link down there in the description box below. Let's see what will happen next. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And next to this is something that I prepared for you guys. Bye. Hi, everyone. So this is my very special um, moon pouch that I'll be making. So I'll be making a few for people who are interested. Now, I call this the blind pouch okay, for your zodiac. Um, it's going to be me who's going to be creating it. So I go to my store and then pick... Uh, Pick the um, the crystals for you. You would need to choose between the twelve zodiacs, um, but moon sign base. Okay, so it's moon sign base. You pick the moon, the moon sign, and then I will make the pouch for you. Now, um, in the description box, or once you get to the website, you will see um, basically in a nutshell what to expect. But it's always gonna be a mystery. Oh, uh, because I like to surprise people. <laughs> so, all right. So make sure to check it out. And this is only for this series of videos. So once it's done, then it's gone. Okay. So I'll see you. And thank you very much for everybody. Bye.